Hi, it's me again, back for part two. Um, this is part two of an embellishment swap that I'm doing with Charlie, uh, mermaids, um, tropical sort of beach theme, that sort of thing. Um, there will be a part one. Um, if you haven't seen that, just pop over and see that as well. And then you can see what um, all the things that we've been making. So, um, yeah, I'll just carry on from where I left off. So there's a set of bag toppers. Um, I'm trying to think what I started with. Oh, I started with the white doily. Then there's some blue net with glitter in it. Then there's um, some of that paper that came in the little pads from Poundland. The it had like almost like it had been die cut. Um, some of that in blue. The next layer. And then I die cut these gold or these doilies out of gold paper. I did so much die cutting for this swap. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I just did tons of it before I started. Then I've used these bows from the work. So you've got the blue glitter, the, the, the blue leather, and then the dark blue glitter. Put a seashell in the middle of each and a word. Charlie does like a, uh, the bag toppers. So I, I have done her a few of those. I've got another set somewhere. Then there's these, these are gorgeous. These are, I've used that flag die again, um, which layers up. So I've just used scraps from other papers that I've been using throughout making the embellishments. Um, I've put a word on each one. Then I've put the letters S-W-I-M for the word swim. And I've repeated it there at the top. And then these little mermaids, they're actually rubber. You know, the little rubber embellishments, not the resin ones, the actual rubber ones. And um, Charlie liked these for when she does um, an album page for her little nieces swimming. And I've just decorated up the top with these glittery um, starfish and glittery shell and make waves scrap. And I've just put a blingy flower on the end of each one and some bling at the bottom. I love them, I think they're so nice. Then for this one, um, I've, this is vellum in the back here. Uh, one of the books from uh, either the works or the range. So I've die cut a square, stitch square out of rainbow mirror, and then a smaller square of that pink paper with the iridescent um, shapes on it again, the, the shells. And then I've layered up some die cuts, um, just to so there's a there's the there's the hello one, and then there's a drink one layered on top, and then there's that one the beach spoke spoke to her soul, and then the sort of bucket and spade on the top of that, and I've just put some leaves, feathers, and then a flower with a very blingy bling in the middle. Then I've used, again, this has been using up scraps of the papers from other embellishments. I've used that flag die again. Then I've just, that, that mermaid's cut, what is it? No, that's a sticker, I think that one, a die cut, that one. That's a sticker and that's a sticker, I think. Then I've just got a couple of these, um, what are they called? octopus I, was, I got a squid in my head I knew it wasn't a squid the octopus I've just layered them together and then just put splish splash and a little fish and this one I've used the big octopus again with some scraps of paper mermaid scales there and then what's on that one oh there's like a shark and like weeds and stuff another one of my shells then I've cut a circle out of the bubble paper. I've layered up some like seaweed. I've put a mermaid on both, different mermaid, a bling. And then that one's, that one's got the jellyfish and that one's got, yeah, I think it is a jellyfish actually. And then that one's got the squid or whatever it is. And then a word. Then 
then um, some more bag toppers because Charlie does like a bag toppers. Um, just decorated the top like that. And this is, it's a plain pink card, but it's actually a, a, a graduated shades of pink. So if you can see, it's lighter that end to that end. Each one is decorated with the same sort of flower cluster and leaf. Um, and then that's a sticker, that's a sticker, yeah, and that's a sticker as well. A little shell. I think they're really pretty with the hearts. And then I think this is the last bag top, and this is gorgeous. This is probably my favourite. So I've die cut a mermaid in, uh, not a mermaid, a seahorse in three different colours. And I've chosen um, like a pearl embellishment to match it and also a starfish to match the colours. And then I've got these little, I don't know if you can see them very well. I sold these in my shop and they are glittery little mermaid tails. I'll just put a couple of bling on the, on the, the handles at the top. You can't see the others because they're underneath the embellishments. So that's those, really pretty. Then I've just done two of these little um, like pinwheel flowers, if you want to call them flowers, in like the dotty paper. And it's in this same paper pack, but I just didn't want to cover those little mermaids up because I think they're so cute. A couple of little tickets there, just stapled on. And just some heart trim at the top and some pearls. And a bit, a bit of um, blue and green wool wrapped around the top. Then this, this actually is not going to come out very well on camera. Um, it, it's a piece of card that's been embossed with that embossing folder with the mermaid scales and the star, and I think there's a, a sun dollar on it somewhere, and shells down there um shells there as well um th this looks blue it's actually a jade color and then the green so it's like a um, tropical leaf tropical flower um rose gold mermaid but what you probably can't see i've used some of my dry waxes um i i rubbed over the um embossing with some sandpaper to make it like rough and just put the colour on the top but it, it really won't show <coughs> excuse me and I did just rough up the edges decorated the top with a couple of die cut shells and a little shell embellishment and then a word and then there's a word on there as well it's really pretty then these um, flowers um, I've made these from the little strips of paper that have been left from me making my shell embellishments with the shell embellishments now i have done a video on this as well but i found that the you know the little 10 by 10 centimeter paper pads that we get you know with the loads and loads of pages in they're like a pound they are a great size for making the shells and there's a bit that you cut off and the, these strips is the bit that you cut off. So um, I think I cut them in half each strip and um, use them to make flowers. So they look really pretty. Those, that one there, I made, I made a load from um, almost like marble type effect paper so i just put those all together to make a flower that looked like that and then the others are patterned decorated it up nicely like that a little bit of bunting uh, a leaf and a little mermaid and a word I just ripped the paper i just thought that looked really nice torn like that then oh i forgot i made these uh the top it's a mermaid die they're folded over uh, the top one is PU leather, very, very iridescent. And I've just put a matching flower in the middle. Then this is a fabric. It's like a like a white, thinnish fabric 
with this iridescent like glitter uh, like glitter trim in in the actual fabric um i bought it not just before not christmas gone the christmas before i was actually with charlie when i bought it and we bought it got it from the range so i've just i die cut that out of there then i punched um an eyelet through and just hung a tassel on there and then this one is pu leather again um whereas that one's smooth this one's actually got a texture like a bumpy texture and then i've just put a blingy embellishment there in the middle and just decorated it with a bow and just some like fiber type stuff there <coughs> then this actually that blue bow there that's one that charlie made for me a while ago just put some little seahorses at the top and that bow then i've cut some more of these little mats from the um rainbow miri and just layered up these little cards they're from a paper pack and they're the same two little girls as in the previous embellishments that i showed you and then there's two of those different little girls just layered up one two three layers and then this one that says under the sea i've just used a different um frame just to frame that I think that looks really nice just decorated it up with some some stickers these are really nice i do like these they're just um I'm trying to see what i'm trying to see what i've done because it's been so long since i've done them purple um rosette flower type thing um each one's got a die cut mermaid tail coming out the top um they've all got they've all got more or less the same things just in different colors and possibly a slightly different placement they've all got a seahorse stars shells they've all got make a wish on them and some like net behind um that one's got a crab instead of the seahorse so just done a lot of die cutting out of like miri and glittery stuff So that's what they look like there um oh these are literally made out of scraps the scrappiest scrappy scraps <laughs> um that is a cupcake with a mermaid sat on the top um you'll see in a minute what i used that cupcake top for i had one spare so i did i, I cut the cut cupcake bottom to make an actual cupcake and say sat her on the top these were just little bits of scraps of paper that i've attached to the back of one of these cards that's just a die cut um like pink thing i don't even know what it is it's like a doily type thing and then i've used a flower die just to, to die cut a scrap of paper with the mermaid and sat her in the middle just made a little banner just to decorate the packaging and again just use die cuts cut out of the bits of paper where there was mermaids left and i think i stuck the prawn on upside down but never mind <laughs> so that was that literally just getting rid of scraps then this is what i was using to make this is to make these this is the um so this these are jellyfish so this is an ice cream it, well it makes either an ice cream or a cupcake and it's the top piece and it makes the body of the jellyfish and then you just use lots of different strands of um you know different sorts of fibers and ribbons and things just to make the, the like the tentacles so i think this is there oh, there's five in there because there's that yeah there's one in the middle the body's like there so there's five in that pack and then i've just used a little mermaid sort of topper just to um finish that off and then there's a bit of that vellum from the previous set of embellishments that was obviously left and i've just used that as a topper but they were they were really fun to make they were then this is uh, the first time i've tried doing one of these and 
the outside looks fine but i don't think i've decorated it very nicely inside it's a little envelope flip book is that what you call it where i've i've made uh what size is it hang on let me just look on the board it was on here um oh where's it gone why am i not seeing it oh it's on my scoreboard no it's not i'm looking no wonder i'm looking at the top um oh, what are i a7 i think it's a is it a7 size um yeah half a6 yeah a7 it's my new favorite size so i made the envelopes um just out of um paper on my envelope punch board um decorated the front one well stuck them all together you know like to make like a little envelope flip and it is just like decorated inside and there's inside i think i can't remember what i've put in there but i think die cut stickers that sort of thing um put some weed on the front and gone over it um with some paint or something one of them then I've wrapped it round to close it. I've just used the wall as a closure and tied it. And then there's a mermaid in the background, which I've glittered up. And then there's a bit of mermaid scale washi at the top. I say the front probably looks better than the inside, if I'm honest. On the back, I've just got stamped a beer rainbow in someone else's cloud. It doesn't even really fit the theme, but <laughs> um, I do like the colours though. So but i do love this size i think it's a7 yeah half a6 then the last few things are just cards that i that i made now we normally do a set of four cards but i did do some extra cards this time um because i as i say i really like that a7 size so what i did is i made some cards sorry some envelopes there's a set of three in like orangey tones and they're like c C sort of themed and then three in the blue so they're just envelopes and inside each one has got just a plain white like note card so charlie can use them just to send out little messages so they just looked a little bit plain just being well plain so i just put a few stickers and sort of embellishy bits on just to make them look a bit prettier see there the backs so they're just simple little note cards that Charlie can use. And then in that same size, um, a single card, I've stamped you are, you are amazing. Then the mermaid's, mermaid that I've stamped is actually raised up. And I've stamped some little fishes and weed and things around it. Um, and again, I've made the envelope to go with it at the back. So that is definitely my new favourite size. Then there's this sort of normal size card, just an odd card. I had a um, hot off the press. It was like a book that had pages in it that you made up to make cards. So you basically, you provided the card and they provided all the bits to, to go on the card. And I got maybe about just bits of it left, which I ended up throwing away all the bits because they were all odd bits. But the one card that I could make up from what was left was this one. So I thought it's too nice to throw away. So I made I made that card up. So that's that's basically why that one's included in the swap. And then this is the actual set of four cards that um I initially made. And they're using the remember the pads that we got from Poundland? I had the Disney Princess. I have I think I've got the paper um i have the toppers where which is where that topper came from and the decoupage pack so basically i've just used card blanks and i i didn't i wanted to use basically the little mermaid ones so i hadn't got i'd only got like one sheet so what i did is i used a plain sheet and then i've just used torn bits so um it kind of did all the cards i needed it to do so 
I've just tried to use, as I say, the aerial bits on this. So I've got today is all about me and there's aerial at the front. And I've torn it so that aerial is there in the middle. And I've just decorated it up with gems and inked the edges a little bit. Um, and I, I really like these cards. I mean, I'm not, I'm certainly not a Disney person at all, but I really do like these. Um, and I've ripped it. So you've got Little Mermaid there, and a bit of the Little Mermaid there. And there's a topper. And I've just used the feather paper behind. So Charlie said these would be great for her nieces. Hope your birthday is as special as you are. That's that one. So that was the sort of one big Little Mermaid image that I had. Just put a little bow, some bling. Just kept that one whole. And then um, that was um, the, like in the, the decoupage pack, there was like one of each princess. So that was like the, the aerial decoupage sheet. I've just put that sentiment there. Again, I've just ripped the paper. And decorated some flowers and bling. Actually, that's not bling, that's, that's jewel drops there. And there, the, the pink. So that is it, that is my swap so far. I say I haven't finished yet, I, have, I do intend to make some more bits, but I just thought I'd come on and show you what I've been making during lockdown. And um, thanks for sticking with me, because it's been quite a big video or two videos to show all this so um yeah until next time bye